Okay, are we live? I believe we should be live soon. Let's see, let's see. Just want to make sure. All right, we are live. And I am on the comment section. So if anybody wants to comment, I will be here. Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, this is Brother Ming. We are here today so that I can do a quick playthrough video of the Persona 5 board game. So now that is what you see in front of me. Uh, this is the first real version, kind of demoing it. We're still playtesting this game. Not all elements are final. Some of the things needs to be redesigned for sure. Um, but overall, things are good. Uh, so today I wanted to just walk through how to play this game with everybody. Um, so first things first persona 5 this game is a one to two player game uh right it is a solo game first and a competitive cooperative game second uh so to start off we will need a couple of things uh i'm actually missing a component which is a red dice right here okay so uh, let's go over all the components first, shall we? So we have a couple of things. We have our character sheet here. Only Ryuji is available in this demo so far. Uh, and Ryuji has a couple of things. Pop that up on the shield for you, uh, screen for you. Uh, each character has two sections. On the left, you have the skill list of that character. And on the right, they have your social stats. So you earn skills as you defeat shadows. So you start off the game with no skills unlocked, right? And for every single shadow you defeat, you earn one ability. So after defeating three shadows, uh, Ryuji will have access to Assault Dive, Resolve, and Zayanga. Uh, on the right, it has his starting social stats. So the dice face tells you what stat to start that off as. So Ryuji is uh, ones in knowledge, charm, and proficiency. He's dumb, he's clumsy, he's very uncharming. Although I beg to differ. I like the I like the rowdy boys of Persona. Uh, but his strengths are his guts and his kindness. So we will go ahead and put a one there, a one there, and a one there. And then we will put a three on his kindness and a four on his guts. So that's his stats. That's how you keep track of his stats with dice uh, starting with the same face value. If you're watching live, please go ahead and leave a comment. I will actually watch the comments this time. Okay, so uh, after you've done that, uh, you want to give every single player, either one or two evolved, one of each resource. So one HP, one SP, and one bullet, as well as one cash. After that, we have our five starting locations, which are already laid out. And then we want to shuffle the shadows deck, location deck, and confidence deck. Now, for any given game, you want to remove your own character's confident card. And you also, if you're not playing as the Joker, you want to remove Caroline and Justine, as well as Igor, both of whom are, uh, are characters that are only relevant for the Joker. Uh, otherwise, you don't get them. Same with Ryuji, you can't recruit yourself. So you take those out, you put them to the side. Then we want to reveal five confidence to assign to each of these starting locations. So we have Kawakami, best girl, EY, Oda, get smoked, uh, Yoshida, if only politicians as nice as him existed, and Yusuke. All right, so those are our starting confidants on the map. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to reveal two shadows per player. So this is a two player game. So we're going to reveal two shadows. So one shadow there and one shadow there. So the two shadows are revealed, Daisoju and Jack Frost classic. So a couple of elements are on the screen for the shadow cards. Let's zoom in. So on a shadow card, you have a couple of things. You have their arcana. Uh, if you have the arcana for the most part is not very important. Uh, for now, uh, I'm thinking about having it interact with your confidants and giving you a victory point bonus. But, you know, for now, ignore the kind of the name Jack Frost, just for flavor, essentially. 
And uh, so here in the upper left, you see that they have weaknesses. So this is the two attack types that this character, this shadow is weak to. When you attack a shadow with a ability that they are weak to, any damage you deal becomes uh, flexible damage. So for example, here, Ryuji has Zyanga, which deals electricity damage, and uh, he has Assault Dive, which deals physical damage. So Assault Dive normally deals three bullets to a shadow by paying two HP. So that's value, right? But if a shadow is actually weak to, uh, to physical, like Daisoju here, then the three bullets that he would do actually can be used as three any type damage. So a shadow being weak to something basically makes that skill flexible and able to deal any kind of damage. In addition, if they're weak to a type of attack and that attack involves a coin flip, you automatically succeed on the coin flip. Now, if the attack does any type damage already and doesn't involve any coin flips, as is the case with God's hand, the damage simply doubles, which is uh, devastating, right? Any physical weakness characters will just basically die to that immediately. All right, so that is weaknesses and shadows explained. Uh, now let's move on to the confidants. So confidants can be recruited uh, and the way you recruit them, there's a couple of elements on this card as well. Oh, we didn't finish talking about shadows, should we? All right, so they have two weaknesses and then they have stats right here. Now these are the, the uh, essentially damage that a shadow requires you to pay in order to defeat them or resources, right? So this one requires three HP and two SP. So Ryuji, you start off with one of each, but if you had three HP and two SP, right? Now, without using any skills, you can just go bop, 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 pay those five resources and defeat this character, this shadow, right? And that is essentially how you defeat most shadows. You either pay the resource directly or you uh, activate an ability that deals damage of the of a resource type. Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Hello, Philip. Good to see you. All right, so uh, that kind of explains how damage types against shadows work. Um, lastly, each shadow also has an ability. So for example, this guy is on palace enter. When you enter the palace, you have to perform a kindness check or pay one HP. This one is on death when you defeat it, that triggers. Um, and the bottom section, uh, this section can be ignored as long as you are not playing the Joker. Uh, when you're playing the Joker, you don't actually have an ability list. You gain the abilities of the shadows you defeat. They become your personas, um, similar to the game. Um, so lastly, we have the palace card. This card is a, a tracker for the threat level. Uh, and as the threat level rises, every time you enter the palace, effects start stacking. Uh, I believe the, that is all the elements you need to know for the shadows. Next, there are the elements for the location cards, uh, which when you visit, uh, has things that happen on them. Lastly, each location also has a confidant assigned to it. You can recruit confidants by casting the social stat checks required to recruit them. So for example, here, Kawakami requires kindness and, uh, and uh, charm. Uh, to recruit a character of confidant, you need to pass those social stat checks. Now, this is where your social abilities come into play. So you see that uh, Ryuji has a one in charm and a three in kindness. That means for the charm test, he gets to roll one dice. But for the kindness test, he gets to roll three dice. So he has to pass both of those tests in order to recruit Kawakami. So for example, we'll do the kindness test first and roll. And Ryuji fails, of course. <laughs> oh, look at that. My luck is terrible. Uh, so if you fail that, if you succeed on the first one, then you will roll the second one for charm. And then he will roll again and he failed. So he would not recruit Kawakami on that turn. Uh, so I hope that makes sense for how social stats work. Now, let's see. I believe that should explain most things. I'm going to go over the core gameplay loop now. So, uh, the way the game works is that on each day, you have 28 days to complete this uh, palace. So, 28 days to get Kamoshida to 100, flip the Kamoshida card, and then defeat Kamoshida himself. Uh, so 28 in total, starting from the first day. So we go 28 and we mark down. 
on each day, you have one of three choices that you can make. The first choice is uh, visit a location, right? Uh, and when you visit a location, you simply do what happens on that location card. Uh, so for example, if I were to visit Cafe LeBlanc, I would either gain one SP or I can pay one cash to restore SP. So let's say that is my first day, right? Goes down 27. I visit Cafe LeBlanc and I gain one SP. Boom. That's the day done. Uh, the second action you can take on a day is try to recruit a confidant. So on the second day, say I want to visit a convenience store and recruit Yoshida. I would spend the day going there and then I would do his test. I'm not going to do that because I'll probably fail. I don't want to do that. Um, so instead, I'm going to go to the convenience store and act, perform the action and gain three cash. So that is the second thing you can do. The third thing you can do each day is you can reveal a location. So discover a new location by paying one cash. So I'm going to drop that cash back in there, shuffle the location deck and reveal one new location. And when you reveal a location, you also reveal a new confidant to go with that location. Now this location is the Ichiya fish pond. When you go to that, when you reveal it, you immediately visit it and you can either take the location action or try to recruit the new confidant. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pay the two cash at the fish pond to train up my proficiency, which I'm really bad at. So I'm going to go from one to three proficiency on that turn. So that's actually my third day. Okay. So those are the three basic actions. So you basically just go through day to day life, either visiting locations, finding new locations, or trying to recruit people uh, to be your friends. Now on a given day, you can also visit the palace. So let's take a couple days first and get ourselves up to speed. So I'm going to go ahead and then go to the, uh, Takami medical Takami medical and gain one HP. I'm then going to go to Shujin Academy and gain one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say I want to recruit. I want to recruit Shinya. He's great. He's really good at fighting. He really makes you strong for a bullet. So I'm going to, I'm going to go for him. So I need kindness and proficiency, both of which are already three. So I'm going to increase proficiency by one. That's what Shujin Academy allows me to do. And then that is that day. And then I'm going to go to Takame Medical again and gain one more HP. All right. So at this point, I feel good enough. I can go into the palace. And if I do so now, uh, I can defeat at least one shadow. Correct. Um, but mm, whether or not I want to do that, it's debatable. I could keep grinding the day to day until I get enough resources to go in and defeat both at once. Um, let's do that. I, I think that's usually a better idea. Um, it's not always the best idea, but I, th I think in general, it's a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to go to convenience store, gain three cash three. That's another day. Uh, going to go to, oh, you know what? I could actually did pond for extra proficiency. I didn't actually need to do that earlier. Oh, well, I'll do, I'll change that. Uh, and then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to medical again. Cause I want to get some extra HP. Most of, most of Ryuji's spells are activated on HP. So I'm going to do one HP here. Then let's say, let's try to recruit him. Untouchable airsoft shop. So we get to roll four dice for the first test and then three dice for the second test. So four dice for uh, kindness. So let's go kindness. Hopefully we're kind enough to get him. We pass the second test is proficiency. So we only get three dice. Let's see if we pass. All right. So we get Shinya. Uh, with that, we recruit him. So in the future, we get his ability once per day, spend one bullet to deal five any to one shadow. That's great. We can basically go to the palace right now and be confident. So that's one more day. We're going to go to the palace, right? We've got two. This is very straightforward. So now when you're inside the palace, all you're really doing is just paying resources and activating the ability to defeat these palace cards. If you play deck building games, um, this is essentially overall is a very streamlined 
idea of a deck builder where these are victory points. You're picturing them with resources. So you just buy victory cards here. Um, that simulate the combat mechanic. So we're going to fight Jack Frost first. Uh, but first we need to do Daiso Drew, who has an on palace center, pass a kindness check or pay one HP. Now kindness check, as we know, we have a four in kindness. So we're going to roll our four dice. And we're going to pass. So we do not have to pay any HP. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and fight Jack Frost, who has three HP and two SP. So we're going to pay that right now. And we get him. And now that gives us access to our first ability, Assault Dive. Um, additionally, if you don't take out an enemy immediately, you can use these little red cubes to help you keep track of which damages have been dealt to a shadow. All right, so we have then. Uh, <laughs> you should play Persona, Philip. It is one of my favorite games ever. Um, Persona 5, especially. Incredibly stylish. Now, uh, now we can go ahead and do Daisoju, which we will just use Shinya's ability, flip over that bullet, activate his ability, and that'll defeat him as well. When that happens, two new shadows are revealed, and the threat level goes up by 25%. Now I can stay in the stay in this palace and try to fight these two new shadows, but I have no resources left, so more than likely I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So then I will retreat out of the palace. When I do so, uh, you know, the day passes and I get to choose where I go now. Uh, now, as you can see, most of my resources are depleted. I'm going to want to refill. So I also gained resolve, actually. So I actually gained two more HP right there. Resolve is a passive, so it's permanent. Um, let's go to Cafe LeBlanc and let us decrease that day by one. And let us, I would like to recruit her, but my charm is one. And I don't think that charm is getting any higher. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm just going to gain an extra SP. Do I need, I don't even need to gain any more SP really. Cause only Zanga and Mazanga uses SP. Ooh, that's a typo. That should say SP. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Not playing super optimally, um, but let's let's finish this. I will go ahead and pay. Mm, yeah, I'll pay a cash, restore my two SP. Then I'm gonna go to the untouchable airsoft. Gain one bullet. Mark another day off. Then I'm gonna go to hmm. hmm. I could recruit Yusuke. He'll be very useful. Uh, he can let me do three any once per day. That'll help a lot. Let's see. So we have three bullets on Palace Check Charm. I'm definitely gonna be failing that. So I need to pay one SP for that. Um, all shadows ignore weakness to bless. Neither of these characters have weaknesses I can abuse as Yusuke, so that's irrelevant. Um, I'm gonna go and say we want we can defeat Lamia by a cast of Assault Dive, which will deal three bullets and then two other bullets. So that's actually four HP overall. We'll take care of her. We need one more HP, three HP, and those two which we can actually use Shinda for. So yeah, let's go ahead and stick to the Shinda strategy and just keep abusing him. So we're gonna go to Takame Medical and we're gonna pay one cash to flip these over and mark off one more day. Now we're gonna go back to the palace. Oh, no, we're good. We're gonna go back to the palace and that's gonna cause us to pay one HP because of the palace ability. So that is paid. Then we're gonna do Lamia, which on palace check, we need to do a charm check or pay one SP. Our charm is one. Oh, we passed. Don't even have to pay that one SP. Very nice. And let's see, what else do we wanna do? Uh, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off Lamia first. So we're gonna do a cast of Assault Dive, which steals three bullets. That'll do those three bullets. Mark that off. 
We don't need to do this, but just for clarity. And then we're gonna pay two HP for the last two HP damage. And that's gonna go ahead and give us our Lamia. Put those there. That shadow is done. Now we want to deal with Horus, which is easy because we can just pay that and boom, Horus is done as well. Shinda is very good. Maybe a little too good. Mm, we'll see. That's what playtesting is for. <laughs> All right. Uh, and two new shadows will be revealed. Obero and that. So we don't have enough resources left to deal with this. So we're going to retreat out. That's one day. And I'm going to say we'll go to talking medical and pay to restore all of that. That's another day. 15 days left. We're at 50%. Two more shadow runs left and we got to defeat Kamoshino. Mata has appeared, which is a bigger shadow and Oberon. Oh, Mata is weak to lightning. That's a little bit useful. Our spells aren't great. So not too sure if that's going to be too much help. We can take care of Oberon as always uh, with Shinda. Uh, I might actually have to nerf Shinda to one, just deal five bullets instead of five any. It's a little bit overwhelming. Um, let's see. Mata is two, three, four HP, two bullets. So Assault Dive isn't going to help us that much. We do have four Shadow cards. So that gives us four abilities. And that just goes up to Mazianga. Mm, that's a little helpful, but not crazy helpful. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? I'm gonna stock up on a little bit more bullets. Keep using Shinya. Yeah, Shinya is definitely overpowered, but it's okay. We'll finish this. And I will be able to take care of Mata just because I have enough. So I will just go into the palace again. Shinda is gonna do that. That's gonna give me him. I'm gonna pay these to do the two bullets and then these four to pay the five a four HP. That's gonna give me him. And that is the day in the palace. And I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna go to attack me medical. Restore all of these. Oh, easy peasy. I'm gonna go to I totally ignore the abilities on those two shadows just now. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Charm check or pay one HP. Let's see if we fail that. Oh, we actually, I'm rolling so well. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't have to worry about that. All right, so these two abilities. Single target attacks must target shadow first. And all shadows ignores weakness to ice. We don't have to worry about those two. This one, uh, so I'm gonna hit him first. Not too big a deal. I have enough resources for him. So I'm just gonna go to Untouchable. Restore these three. That'll take care of him. Uh, I'm gonna use Shinda on him. Yeah. Gonna do that, go back. Uh, this time pay one HP automatically and then we're gonna hit him first. So boom 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 That gets rid of you and then for him. I'm gonna do Shinda and boom. He's also gone Now we're gonna reveal two more shadows And We are not gonna be able to kill either one of those I believe actually No no, we're not going to be able to beat either one of those. So that's that day. Let's come back out. I'm going to go to Untouchable, pay a cash. That's that day. Going to go to Takami Medical. Oh, I don't have cash. I'm going to go to Convenience Store for that day and gain 30 cash. And then I'm going to Takami Medical. That's that day. And recover these. 
see. Ignore weakness to both Sai and Wen. We don't have to worry about that. Guts check or pay 1 HP. So we have 4 guts. We should be in good shape for that. Uh, we only have 7 days left. One more visit and then we have to defeat Kamoshida. But we're in good shape. Um, Shinda definitely needs to be a nerfed. I, I, I buffed him because he was a little bit too weak previously. I think I over buffed him. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're all filled back up. We're gonna go back in, charge right back in. Boom. Um, go ahead with Shinda. Use that. Flip you. We're gonna go ahead and use two to deal three bullets to you, and then that to deal the last bullet to you. And the two was from Assault Dive. Oh, we actually have access to God's Hand and Brain Buster now. So we're in really good shape. Let's reveal the next two. Because we might actually just be able to finish this in one go. Okay, for you, I can do God's Hand, 3 HP, 4 any. Oh, but that won't actually finish you. What? Oh, but we can do her. Immune to abilities that require coin flips. So we don't have to worry about that. Ignores weakness to ice and fire and electricity. We're not going to use electricity still, so it's fine. So, Clotho, sure. Let's take care. Actually, we can take care of Cert too, can't we? We just have to choose one or the other. Um, we we'll have to choose. I would prefer to take care of Clotho because that SP is actually more annoying. So, we'll do that. One, two, three. You're taken care of. And then we're going to leave. And that's that day. We're going to leave and go to Tech and Medical. I pay one cash. One, two, three, four, five. That's that day. Five days left. Um, we're going to have to go to Untouchable Airshaft. Do that for that day. Four days left. Um... Let's go in. Yeah, let's go in before we only have four days left. So let's go in before we lose this. We go in, we take care of cert as you do. We do two HP for assault dive. Let's three that. And then we're gonna do uh let's go ahead and just care all in with God's hand. And that's four any to him. So I did cause hand, did assault dive. That's that. Oh, we actually have to pay one SP on enter. Oh, and now we enter 100, instantly flip Kamoshida. So we get Kamoshida and he says, reveal one shadow, it becomes Kamoshida's trophy. And Kamoshida cannot be the dynamic damage until his trophy is defeated. There's a little flavor text at the bottom there. So we're gonna reveal one shadow. And so Lachesis Luches is his trophy. So we can't damage him until we defeat this. I was hoping we'd be able to take care of her. Oh yeah, we can, we have Shinya. Take that, boom. All right, so now we're gonna retreat because we need to be in tip top shape. Get out there for four days. Tech medical. Oh, we don't have any cash. Convenience store, so let's earn three. That's the day for earning three. Ooh, two days left. Ooh, ooh. Can we make this actually? Two days left. Um, First tech medical. One day left. So we have to go in now. I th think we want because what we can do for this last day, we're going in, right? On this last day, we have these six HP. We have him, which does one five. And then we have God's hand, which does. So we're going to do first, we're going to do Shinya Oda, which deals five any. We're gonna take care of these two right for the five we're gonna take care of these two as five and then we're gonna take care of one hp all right and then we're gonna do that to take deal three bullets yep boom boom and then we're gonna do god's hand which is three hp and deals four any and that's gonna deal four hp to him and we're going to finish it with on the very last day all right so that is the whole playthrough. 
um i hope you guys enjoy watching that uh i'm really excited for this game it is a very solitaire like experience i know watching it being played on tabletop simulator may not be the most exciting thing um but yeah it's a solo game that you can lay down and just go through and it's very much so a dynamic puzzle right um right now we're still in balancing phase which is why i need a lot of play tests of this game shinya oda i definitely think was a little bit way above the curve there i i relied on him a lot more than i should have but overall, um, the game is what you see in front of you. Um, if you guys have any feedback, definitely let me know. I'm very excited to get this project kind of completed. And uh, right, I'm, I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm pretty happy with how it plays. It feels like a nice distilled experience. Um, if I sound tired, it's because I am. It is midnight where I am. <laughs> I apologize for that. But anyways, I uh, hope that was a good stream. stream. Uh, all right. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.